So today I'll be reviewing Pokemon Journeys Episode 129, The Finals Part 1 Torrent. This was the first part of the World Championship Finals with Ash vs Leon in an epic back and forth, so let's talk about it. So the episode starts off with Go arriving at Slayport City for Project Mew, where he meets Tokyo and Gary, and Gary and Go briefly talk about Ash in the Masters 8 Finals, and Go says that he knows Ash will win because of the promise that they made. Then we get a cool transition between Ash and Go telling each other to give it all they got. It's nice that they showed Project Mew at the start of the episode and I love how Gary brought up the world championships. I don't mind the episode starting off with this as opposed to a recap but hopefully they don't do any switching throughout the battle and save Project Mew for the start of every episode or after the entire battle is over. Moving on though, after that we switch to Ash who's preparing for his battle by hyping up his Pokemon and that's when Dawn and Chloe come in to say that they came to watch and cheer for him in person. I love that Dawn came all the way here from Sinnoh to support Ash, I was hoping we'd get to see more companions show up, but there's a chance we could just see them later in at least a cameo. So after that we see Leon thinking back to his first battle with Sonya at the start of his journey and what it means to him before his battle with Ash, which was a pivotal moment that I'll talk about later. So before the battle begins, we get to see Dawn, Piplup, and Eevee cheering for Ash, as well as Team Rocket who cancelled their livestream to focus on the battle. We also get cameos from Iris, Lance, and Alon watching from their phones, as well as Steven watching from his TV in Hoenn, and Diantha and Cynthia who are watching together from the stadium suite, which was pretty nice. I wish all of them would have stayed to watch in person, especially Iris, since it would have been great to see her reunite with Dawn and meet Chloe as they cheer for Ash. Moving on though, after that we get the battle introductions where Ash and Leon express their desires to battle each other, while Professor Oak thinks about how Ash is now on equal footing with all of the champions. Then we get the rules for the battle, and right when they mention the battle mechanic rules, we get the moment I've been waiting for where Leon mentions that one is no fun, so he allows Ash to use all of the battle mechanics in this battle. I had a feeling this would happen and talked about the reasons why in my video a few months back, but now that it's actually happening, I'm really excited to see how this goes. So after Ash accepts, we get the start of the battle with Leon choosing Cinderace and Ash going with Pikachu, and this was an exciting and great battle from the start. The way Cinderace used Scorching Sand looked really cool animation wise, and it was the perfect set up to counter Pikachu's move and stop Thunderbolt. It was not only super effective on Pikachu, but it also activated Cinderace's ability Libero, which changed its type to ground and conversely neutralized all of Pikachu's electric attacks, forcing Ash to switch Pokemon. Leon's move was an absolutely genius way to start the battle that gave him instant control from the start, since that probably would have worked on many of Ash's Pokemon depending on what moves Cinderace knows and how much Leon prepared for Ash's team. So after that, Leon switches into Inteleon while Ash goes with Gengar and Inteleon uses quick moves to attack Gengar and then follows it up with an Aqua Jet counter shield that shocks everyone. A couple episodes back when Ash said that he wasn't going to train, I said that Leon probably would and this was the results of a single day of training after seeing Ash only use the counter shield one time, which is very impressive considering Inteleon isn't even his partner Pokemon. So this puts the pressure on Ash by forcing Gengar out of hiding, but Ash and Gengar are able to respond after an underrated genius move by Ash, where he stops the counter shield by using Will-O-Wisp to evaporate the water, and then follows that up by Gigantamax and Gengar to turn the tide of the battle, but Inteleon who's able to dual wield Snipeshot fights back with its agility and Dark Pulse, but Gengar is able to withstand its attack before landing a max ooze that takes out Inteleon, giving Ash the first win of the finals. So then Leon gets ignited and switches into Mr. Rhyme who uses Freeze Dry to stop Gengar, but this results in Gengar's ability Cursed Body taking effect so Mr. Rhyme can no longer use Freeze Dry, but it doesn't matter anyway since Gengar ends up frozen and while it can't move Leon uses Psychic Terrain and follows that up with Expanding Force to take out Gengar and tie up the battle. Afterwards, Leon dedicates his win to Inteleon and tells Ash how a full battle should go, and with that the episode ends. This episode was incredible with lots of great things to talk about from the cameos to the battle and animation. So starting with the cameos and returns, I really like how they showed all of the other members of the Masters 8 watching including Raihan. I'm kind of upset Iris didn't stay to watch the battle, not only as a fellow champion but also as Ash's friend, but at least we have Dawn watching with Chloe. Another return I really liked was Sonya because of her history with Leon. She was the one that taught him about battling and was the first person he ever battled, which is why we saw Leon thinking back to that memory before this battle. I think this was done because this battle will reflect how Leon felt when he first battled Sonya as a kid, because Ash will show Leon new things about battling that he's never considered before, similar to what happened with Ash in his battle with Cynthia. 
the last two things I want to talk about is the overall battle and the animation. The first part of the battle was amazing, it was great seeing all of the unique strategies and counters by Ash and Leon. I thought the animation sequences were really well done, like when Cinderace was using Scorching Sand, and then when it shook off Pikachu's Thunderbolt and stood strong. I also really like seeing Inteleon battle as a whole with all of its agile movements, the snipe shots, and the counter shield, which was brilliantly executed by Leon and then countered by Ash. It'll be interesting to see how Ash uses the remaining gimmicks in this battle to take on Leon's team. With that being said, let me know what you thought of this battle so far, as well as the returns and cameos, and let me know what your favorite matchup was in this episode. Be sure to leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and bye.